Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Today we're going to look at Pinan Yonnan, the fourth kata of the Pinan series, and we'll be doing that again in the dojo. Tim, can you hear me? I can hear you. So what have you got for us today? Today we have some applications for Pinan Yonnan. I'll show them with Seppan again. Yeah. But you'll have to provide some commentary if that's okay. Okay. Okay, no problem. I'm always ready for some new bunkai. Bring on Pinan Yondan. Okay, here we go. Alright, Pinan Yondan, level 4 in the Pinan series. In this kata, there are many new and interesting techniques to explore. But before we begin, let me just say that the bunkai will show here aren't the only possible applications for these kata. They are merely suggestions and there are many more possibilities out there. So practice these ones and try to come up with your own ones. I promise you, you will enjoy uh, karate a lot more when you start doing this. Now on to the first application. I see we move into the attack of the opponent, diving as it were between the attacking arm and the head. Now both hands are opened, so we can easily tell where the head and arm are by moving the hands. We move one hand around the head in a sort of guillotine headlock and grab the wrist with our other hand. Now we have to do several things at once. We drop down to put weight on the back of the neck. We twist the arm back and upwards while keeping it close to the body, we take a step back and turn our own body. This results in the opponent being flung to the ground. Let's see it side by side with the kata. Now we move on to the next part. The attacker grabs the wrist and you return the favor by quickly grabbing their wrist and moving it across your body. You switch the, the grab and smash your hammer fist into the side of the opponent's head. Then you kick the back of his knee. Now in this example we agreed that I wouldn't kick him too hard and he would kneel down easily. We try not to injure each other in training after all, and safety matters. Anyway, we grab the head either with the hair or <laughs> with the uh, eye sockets, a bit of like, uh, like a bowling ball. And you pull the head back to finish by elbowing the head. Now let's compare it to the kata. The next one is really risky, as you will see. We react to the opponent's attack to the throat by attacking the throat and the groin. Then we grab his lapel and knee upward. For safety, have your opponent catch the knee. As the opponent bends over from the knee to the groin, you repeat the guillotine headlock from earlier but this time use it as a choke hold. Tap out means let go. By the way, note which move we use. I like to keep up with current trends too. Okay, with the kata. Now, for the next one, the opponent grabs with the intention to throw a right hook. Now, react immediately by grabbing his hand, twisting your body and moving the arm upwards. You follow through and move his hand out of the way and punch him on the side of the face or the lower jaw. Then, you kick the side of his knee, grab him by the head and throw a second punch. The opponent doesn't need to go down with this move, but remember, it is written nowhere that we only have to punch him once. Now with the kata.
Okay, to finish, we'll play the, the idea that the opponent attacks with a combination of a right hook and a left knee. Uh, we catch both attacks and move in with our knee with another guillotine, but this time we throw him to the other side. And finally, with the kata, one more time. There you go. Some applications for Pina Yonnan. Now, some of these are dangerous to practice, so agree with your partner about how hard you will perform the techniques, especially the headlocks. What do you think of these? How do you apply Pinan Yonnan? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll leave you for now. Let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching.